These are three things new players in COW do which directly impacts their gameplay chances of winning a game. A common mistake is that militia is better than basic infantry, I'll explain why it's a misunderstanding. Most new players think militia is great because it is way cheaper than normal infantry. But they forget why there is a difference between the two. Because here are the stats of the militia, it is overall supposed to be a defensive unit. And here are the stats for the standard infantry, notice something? When we compare, compare them side by side, we see that standard infantry is just better than militia, even for the price. And so many people forget that militia is a last resort unit, to quickly build up defenses in a last sand. Now to our two, pinpoint. point, many new players seem to not really notice why troops are faster or slower, I'll explain now. Okay, so let's assume you wanted to build yourself a nice army, it has motorized infantry, medium tanks and tank destroyers. But then, oh no, it got blown to pieces by an enemy bomber. You then research air defense and add them to your army, seems good. But then you wonder, why is my army so slow? Why I SNT it as ready as it was before? Well, in that case, let's look at the stats again, shall we? Okay, well, motorized infantry has a speed stat of 54, and that the Sherman has a speed stat of 40. The M3 multiple gun motor carriage as well. And here is the answer. Here we can see that the 3 inch gun, the standard AA cannon for the Allied tech tree, has a movement speed of only 27. The solution is simple, an army will always move at the speed of the slowest unit because they won't leave a unit behind, execute you do it manually. But don't worry, there is a solution, going further into the tech tree and researching mobile AA units that can shoot enemies planes on the move. Like the M13 multiple gun motor carriage, it has a speed of 44, so the army can move at a regular tank movement speed of 40 again. Now let's come to the last part of the video, new players that deem research a bad idea. For example, this is our M6 heavy tank, the first heavy tank in the Allied tech tree. This tank has some pretty solid stats. If you think the M6 was the best, look at the then stats might of the ask, M103 where can heavy I get tank, this? it's, it's a easy, beast. just research it, it's the 4th level level of heavy taps tanks in game. Researching is generally a good thing, but some new players have a no research stance, why, you ask? Because research can be very expensive and takes a lot of time, especially for the more advanced units, and they think that it would be more efficient if they would use these resources to build more old M6 heavy tanks. But seeing them side by side, we see that the cost I SND that far away, and after a few days you will have a stronger army than if you wouldn't research it. Thanks for checking in, and that's it for the video.